Yesterday we spoke about anniversaries and today my kids told me why don't we talk about celebration. <laughs> Look, they understood. In the anniversaries, when I talked about anniversaries, how to connect to the family, they said let us have a celebration. We have a lot of celebration, anniversary day itself is called a celebration and in, and in, our, in Hindu culture Almost every month they have some festival which they call it celebration. I was looking deep into those things and I found out it can be to bring down the psychological problems to get the family together. Yes, hence they call it as festival and uh, getting all the people united. Uh, for them money was not important. They hardly save because all what they saved is for celebration. Celebration was more important than saving. And uh, people called them, people called us very poor, poor country. But when you looked in the rich poor countries, like Mother Teresa said, I am serving the poor. But in the poor, even the some most of the time, the rich are very poor in their heart. They have all the money, but then they are very, very poor. <laughs> yes. They don't have anybody, they are lonely, they do not know where to spend it. Celebration was not that in India. Almost every month the people go back and they work very hard. Unity and unions. The GDP of a country is known by the happiness of the people. All that is made goes just in fry. But deep down the heart, the love relationship was very, they look Oh, but in the thatched huts and the rainwater of jumping and dancing, they do not know what is hospital. You celebrate, but do not celebrate. Yeah. When you become a celebrate, you will not, you will not express, you will not release your funds, you will not release your energy. When you suppress it up, you intend to become poisonous and you try to suppress other people also. So celebration is just to open up. I remember in our, in our Arkavadi school, a German lady uh, who was a jockey for the um, uh, Embassy International Horse Riding Club. Her husband was a engineer in the international airport. She came and told me, Swamiji, I would like to construct a beautiful classroom for you. But I said, it's going to cost. No, don't worry. I will. I spoken to my mother, Germans and mother, mother. And she said, yes, we will do it. And uh, the following year, she came back and she collected quite a big amount of money. And she said, oh, Swamiji, I have collected such a small amount of money, but it's, it's quite good for a nice classroom for her. For your kids, it's not one classroom. She's going to construct four beautiful classrooms in Arukavadi school. And uh, she told me, I and when I went back one full year, I and my mother and uh, some of my friends and relatives, they helped us. We went to almost every function in that uh, in my uh, in my uh, village and surrounding places. We sold cakes. We made pancakes. We came sold and this. Can you, in the street, they said, that was celebration. You work very hard and you are not celebrate. If some people can collect it up, then they distribute to others. In Hong Kong, Shanghai, uh, um, Banking Corporate HK, one girl called me. She said she is the HR department. And I told how to collect funds for Rakum School. And uh, she got the idea. After she collected the funds, she said, no, the funds what came was a little big, so I will not give it to your school alone, I'll give it to several people. Then I said, you collect it in the school, you should give it to us, otherwise don't give That becomes celibate, poison. <laughs> you collect it up, when you come for celebration in your house, what, what you have to do is you become conscious and then you go back and you work like the German lady and every time when you come back to celebrate, you improve on your ha house or your society around you, your village, one improvement and that is the real celebration every time you get an orgasmic experience but most of the time celebration becomes like the like the uh, city kids going to the bar 
screaming, jumping, and then when they wait for the next Saturday to again blast all the money. But there is no improve. You cannot improve on that bar. The, maybe the bar and the disco centers are making money. A stranger, but not your house. Go back to your house. Go back to your family. That was. That will be the greatest uh, happiness. I was uh, traveling from. Uh, of course, Onochum was in China. In in. Um, um, Shen, 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 I forgot. Um, and I came down from Tokyo, and we both. I went to um, yes, I went to a Canton. I went to can then Canton from Hong Kong. I went to Canton. I picked up Onocha. We came down to Hong Kong. From Hong Kong, we took the flight to Kathmandu because uh, Onocha and her friends want to travel the whole of uh, Nepal. And for the first time, I was shocked. Whenever I wanted to wash the clothes, so Nancy told no, 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 we are traveling. Traveling time, we don't have to wash the clothes because anyhow it gets dirty. When I asked, I tell we will catch a cab, she said, no, 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 in the cab, we will not enjoy the people and the places. We will walk. Oh, my legs, we walked. And the bus, the bus conductor said there was no space. You can sit on the top. And it's, oh, it's a great celebration. Sit on the top. And we were doing this throughout. I thought these Japanese were conscious. And when we reached uh, uh, Lumbini, somebody, somebody said there was a five-star Japanese hotel. And everybody said, oh, great. It's quite a bit expensive. Otherwise, everywhere we want to eat, she said, no, no. Breakfast and lunch, we made it as one. <laughs> Two rupees if there is a hotel, we go there eat that small food. She said, this is how we try to learn their culture and understand them and give them a bit, not on the big call. But we reached Lumbini, it's already we finished Pokhara and several places. In Lumbini we reached and we went to the five star hotel. We had a Japanese ofro, but then we had Japanese spread out beautiful dinner. <laughs> she said, We work very hard. And at the end, one day also, we enjoy, but we enjoy beautifully. That celebration of saving and say, but you save and then you come back to the house. You make sure the house has got a five star facility. Every time you give it back to your house, give it back to that village, is a celebration. That is how you should celebrate with your wife. And every time when you go back to your office, you walk around your head, you concentrate, your focus is that concentration is called meditation in India. That concentration is called not celebrate. They said you should celebrate is only focusing on it but then the, when it comes to release you should make sure that you and your wife you and your father you and the children you and the family sits together eats together prays together grows together says goes to say take a scrub bath and connect to the joint family call the family tree once in a year this celebration is almost every month that small small savings and then the blast the orgasmic experience that stays you long and strong and you never spend much money on your medicines because celebration is the greatest medicine if you're conscious celebrate and not be a celebrate